very few bees, so it looks like the bee escape worked. <clears throat> looks like the bee escape worked really well. A bunch of bees up here still. Well, some of the bees are out, but not as good as the other. I'm going to harvest uh, two boxes of honey today. Uh, these are the honey supers. I've got my uh, water bucket. I've got uh, two places to uncap the frames. And then I've got my uh, honey extractor, the thing that spins around. And then it comes out and is filtered here. So it's time to get to work. So we take the uncapped honey frame and uh, we put it in the extractor. And then I'm going to put the uh, next frame in the extractor. And away it goes. So now after some spinning, we're going to do the first uh, pouring of the honey. There's the honey going out into the filters. Nice clear honey. Mmm, that's good stuff. Well, the frames are all spun out. We have all that honey. And now what we have left is the, the comb honey. Uh, that is the cut comb honey that I'm going to cut out and put into some boxes. So that'll be next. So the plan here is to cut out the cut comb and put it in these little containers here. I've just never done it before, so I'm a little nervous. So let's give it a try. It just barely fits, but it does fit. I'll just make the other things a little bit smaller. Look at that, came out perfect. And this is my first cut comb honey ever after four years of beekeeping. I'm pretty excited. It's pretty cool. After all the bottling, uh, there are 45 bottles of honey and then the cut comb honey. Uh, amazing harvest for the second harvest of the year. Uh, very exciting. <laughs>